Platformatic applications are Node.js applications built on top of the Fastify web framework. This means that we can use the tools that we normally use to debug our Node.js applications. In this video, we'll learn a few techniques that can help us debug our apps. The first technique we can use to help us debug our app is logging. So here we're going to add in a log line inside the plugin and we'll say app.log.info and we're going to just output a message when our plugin has loaded. Now we'll save that and we'll see that as the server's restarted, the plugin has loaded, that message is being output for us there in the terminal. We've also got a logger available inside each root handler. So for this root here, movies count, we can go here inside the root handler and add request.log.info and we can go and log out that movies count value. And if we save that, when we then go and call that API root, we should see that we actually get that logged out in the terminal for us. So then if we head back to the terminal, we can see here, yep, we've got movies count being logged out. And also we have that request ID. So this is one of the advantages of using the request logger inside the root handler rather than actually using the app logger because we get that request ID, which can be quite helpful in terms of tracing the request through our application. If we want to log out an error, we can call the error method and we might have an error object. In this case, we're going to create our own and we'll just say that something went wrong. And then when we call our API route, we'll see that we've got the error out here in the terminal and the advantage of actually logging that error object rather than just a string is we also get the stack trace so we can see where the error actually came from in our application. Another technique we can use to help us with debugging is to alter the logger level. We can do this in our platformatic config. So we'll go ahead and set a logger object and inside of that we'll set the level. Now we could hard code the level, for example, to info, but in this case, we're going to set an environment variable placeholder. And this will allow us to actually change the log level depending on the environment we're in. So in this case, we're in development and we want to then go and set this in our .env file. And we're going to set it to trace, which is the highest log level. And that will actually give us full detailed logs from our application. But in production, we might want to set the environment variable in our hosting provider to actually be info. So it's a little less noisy. Now let's go and have a look in our terminal and we'll see that we've got quite a lot of different output here. So by adding that trace logger level, we can now see that all the queries that Platformatic DB runs to actually inspect our database and figure out what API to build, that's all being shown here for us. And we can also see the schema, the GraphQL schema that's generated and all the other bits and pieces about where the plugins are being loaded from. Now, if we go ahead and actually make a request to our endpoint again, and then head back to the terminal, we'll see that we've got a trace showing us where the actual query was and what was run against our database. The last technique we're going to use to help debug our app is to use the node inspector functionality. We can do this by stopping the server and then we're going to head into our platformatic db.json and we're going to actually disable the hot reload functionality that Platformatic has for plugins. So this is that when we make changes in development, it's automatically reloading the plugin for us. We don't want this to happen when we're using the node inspector because it can interfere with the debugging process. Now we're going to go ahead and start up our server in a slightly different way using node directly with the inspect flag. And we'll actually call the Platformatic CLI directly from node modules. Now that the server has started up and the inspector is running, we can head over into a browser that supports actually connecting to this. In this case, we're going to use Chromium. It also works in Chrome or in Microsoft Edge. And so we can see here, we're now in the Chrome inspector in the DevTools, and we can open up the dedicated DevTools for Node. And it's connected automatically to that process. And we can see that we've got the plugin open here, and that's here down in the files. So we can then go and add a breakpoint. And in this case, we might want to add one here on this line and we click and we'll see that we've got that blue breakpoint showing. Now, if we head back into our application and we go and make a request to that route, 
we'll see that the debugger has stopped at that breakpoint and we can actually inspect all the different values there. If we mouse over, we can see the value of the movies count variable. And we can also see all the other objects that are, that are in scope and inspect everything about our application. Now it's paused on this breakpoint, so we can actually click to resume the script execution and then we can head back and see that that request is completed. But we were able to actually debug and look at all the different values along the way.